We need to talk. Hey, Alupa! Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Just Say in Swedish. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm your host, Joachim, and today we are gonna talk about the compressed buzzing I sound in Swedish because no don't so ever so often I get a message about this sound or I see a comment about this sound that you are struggling with it and I've said it before it's nothing that you need to do it's not a Swedish I it is it isn't it's just it's not okay so that's it for today basically well I'm, I'm gonna tell you a bit more about this but essentially it's a sound that you don't need to make at all all right so the origin of this is that we have this sound in a very in in various places right and in very, very, very few dialects, essentially, naturally, in a few dialects, okay? Now, in the 1800s, people with money started to travel Sweden and they got summer houses and whatnot, so uh, people from from the big cities, from Stockholm, from Gothenburg, they started to travel a little bit, and then they gained a few dialect traits that they took with them home. So this became a socialect thing, meaning that only the the wealthy people from the big cities they used this sound because they got influenced basically f during their summer holiday by the locals. This is called the VBE. A lot of you people learning Swedish, you think that this is something that you have to do. You have to sound like this and it's just not true. As a foreigner, you try to learn a somewhat uncolored language, right? And uh, several languages, they have really uh, like a standard high language in Swedish. We don't really have that, but we have basically sounds that most dialect use, dialects use. And we have media Swedish, basically, that has just become the standard inofficially, right? So it can feel out of place if you start to say dialectal things or use dialectal sounds with your uncolored language. Sure, if you're fluent, you can start to dabble in dialects. And if you live in one place in Swedish where they speak a certain dialect, of course, you will get influenced by that. But if you speak uncolored Swedish, basically, uh, as far as that goes, it can feel out of place if you start to use this VBE. It just sounds like you learned something and you think that you need to do it all the time. Uh, but that's not true. I, as a native Swede from Stockholm, I almost never, almost never use this sound. So the sound I'm talking about, you know it, it's the right? And what we have here is uh, is described as a compressed I or a buzzing I or whatever. The normal Swedish I sound or yeah, E, E. It's a, an open E, E. No buzzing there. It's like almost like the English uh, E, E, but a bit more open. So E, E. No buzzing, no compression there. I needed to make this video to make you understand that it's not normal. It's not the normal I sound. But I get so many messages about this. How do you do it? I can't do a normal Swedish uh, I sound or E. It's it's not no. It's not the common <laughs> way. <laughs> Please. Do you get it? You don't need to use it. You don't need to know how to do it because it doesn't make you sound more native at all. And sometimes it can make you sound dumb. 
I think when I went to school or somewhat like 15 years ago, it was it started to become common for like 14 year old girls to use this sound. It wasn't as common before that, uh, as far as I know. It was more of a like um, thing for rich people to, to say, or at, at least stereotypically. Uh, in Stockholm we call it Lidinge uh, <laughs> U, because there is an island called Lidinge, where a lot of wealthy people live. Just, it's basically Stockholm, but it's its own mun municipality. So they are not from Stockholm, but you know, it's, it's, it's something that wealthy people uh, did back then. And then it started to trickle down to uh, everyone, but foremost, young girls, right? So if you, and they do it all the time, and it, it actually honestly sounded pretty dumb. And if you think this sound is standard, you are gonna you are gonna use it all the time, and you might sound dumb. Uh, more more likely, it will sound out of place because you don't have a perfect pronunciation. And uh, if you have a per perfect pronunciation, and you you can of course spice it up a little bit with this sound if you can do it if you can pull it off properly. But that's uh, when you are really so that good, right? You're really, you, you, you can barely hear your, your native accent. And then you can, you can dabble a little bit in stuff like that. But if you're starting out, if you're learning Swedish, if you're just trying to practice pronunciation, don't waste your time with this. Ugh. That was my rant. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do it if you can do it. So. Um, it's called a compressed uh, e, e sometimes and sometimes a buzzing E uh, because it's, it's kind of sounds like it's compressed, right? It sounds like you are you are squeezing it a little bit. This sound is a, a dental sound uh, So you move your tongue closer to the teeth if you know how to do a, a voiced S you are close, all right, so a voiced S S is z, 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 z. and then you say that and e at the same time. Z, z, z. Then you are pretty close to pull this sound off, but keep down the buzzing, right? So it's more like it's not really not <laughs> something you have to do. Uh, it's something you're born with. Let's say that it's, it doesn't really belong to your normal palette of Swedish sounds. Hopefully you learned something today and hopefully uh, you can pull this off now as a novelty, as, as a party trick, as something just for fun. And if you are uh, living in Stockholm, for instance, or Gothenburg or whatever, you are living in these areas where this is normal and you have adopted some of their uh, dialect, fine. Do it if you want, but if you're just starting out with Swedish, it's nothing for you, I think. If you want to learn more Swedish, you can do that on SaidInSwedish.com. If you want to talk to me, you can do that on Discord. And if you want to support me, you can do that on Patreon, or you can click the join button under this video. All right. <laughs> Please leave a comment and tell me uh, what you thought about this video. And we will see each other in the next one. Okay? Hej bra! Puss och kram! Hej då!